Okay, here we are on the vegan cyclist. Somebody asked me to do a response video to this. Again, no hate, just sharing comments and criticisms. Genuinely, this guy's lucky, man. This guy's lucky that there wasn't any any traffic coming up the road. He's lucky his concussion, uh, we hope, is pretty minor. Let's check this out. All right, we'll play it at full speed, and then we'll break it down for a full crash analysis over 24 years road racing experience here. And this is an easy avoid mistake. This guy's really lucky. And he's just born, bang, tail slapped it down. That bike's written off, written off his carbon bike. He's, he could have even busted his pelvis. Let's go do a full rewind. Okay, let's have a look here. So you can see his rear wheel locks up a bit. He grabs a bit of brake, hits a bit of crack, he's losing control, it's a big slide out. He, he He's doing good here, he's bracing his, uh, oh man, body's so bang. And that that's the stuff, that's the stuff that'll give you a Floyd Landis pelvis right there. Hip surgery, hip replacement, you near know, labial tear, all for what? Just to get a couple of seconds in a downhill, cut in the corner, cut in the corner, which is sort of fine to do if you can see there's no traffic, but it means you're going pretty hot. You know, so vegan cyclist, he sort of caused this crash in a way because he's egging his mate on. He's, I've got the GoPro on. Let's get some hot, hot footage, you know, and he got the hot footage. But unfortunately, it cost him a $4,000 carbon fiber bike and hopefully no long lasting concussion and hip issues from that crash. So vegan cyclist, you know, you should be telling your mate, hey, just chill. Because I, I would have been. If I was in this ride, I'd say, dude, just, just chill, man. Like, you know what I mean? Just chill. Um, there's these California roads, there's cracks all over the roads, you've got disc brakes in your bike, which is more dangerous because you're causing lockups. Look at this, this is the end result. This is the end result of trying to be cool, just following that Saffir, what's that Saffir dude? You know, it's a stupid man. All that wasted carbon, those rims are done, that fork is done, those carbon bars are done. That bike is done. That bike is done, the crank's probably even bent. And this guy looks very fit, he looks like he spends a lot of time on the bike, so for him to ride potentially bent cranks, you know, really bad for his knees. Let's play it one more time. He's straight away. That's That caused some serious pain because he's got his hand on his left hip there. Let's hope he's okay. These these crashes don't happen on my rides uh, with my crew because I'm like, hey, just chill, man. Why do you want to go to hospital? Why do you want to get a hip? Why do you want to get hip surgery in your 20s? You know what I mean? Why do you want to? Why do you want to? You just got a brand new bike. Why do you want to just trash it on a corner? And have to replace everything. So look at this. The, the rear wheel's locking up. And then here, here's the big lock up here. This is what disc brakes are down. Look at that. Big lock up. And once you're locking up those skinny wheels, bye-bye. See you later. Drive Miss Daisy into that ditch. And this, this this kid is lucky, man. He is lucky there wasn't cars behind or just revving it. You know, tr uh, Tyler, vegan site. Bro, what are you doing, man? You know what I mean? Why are you pushing your mates to go in front of you with the GoPro to get some... You know what I mean? This is just... It's almost like you, you wanted this crash to happen because you get some footage. Look at that. That bike is done. Those sunnies are done. That bike should be cut up and put to landfill because those rims could explode. Those bars could explode. But other things that end up for sale on Facebook Marketplace. You know, it's good to see some neon pink there, but these guys aren't too visible. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I mean, it is great footage. You know, the camera's on point, but at what cost? At what cost? This guy's lucky. Let's hope he doesn't have... Too bad of concussion because he hit his head hard. That's a new helmet as well. What an expensive, what an expensive few seconds. It could have been a lot more expensive if he busted his hip. Who knows? His hip may degenerate as he gets older because of this severe impact. Let's hope it doesn't. Let's hope everyone's okay. Stay safe out there. Why take risks? Why take risks, man? It ain't worth it. All right.